It's our common interest in exploring the transitory nature of humanity through drawing that gave birth to the Ephemer Imaginaire project. Joe, together we sought out artists who felt closely connected with this theme in their own drawing practice through quite a variety of media and approaches. When I look back at the whole exhibition, I realize there's some really wonderful, intuitive, you know, connections that were made. And this is what I really like about it, that these connections be become more apparent, uh, you know, gently as we look at the work. Yeah, those visual and conceptual segues were really vital to the continuity of the exhibition. And all the artwork shared an acoustic element. Alexander composed a brilliant ambient soundtrack. It was played on headphones and also speakers mounted in the ceiling of the gallery. It was looped continuously. It was inspired from the drawings, which evoked notions of time, impermanence, and movement. Recognizing those ideas from one artwork to the next, despite the differences in style and approach, engaged people to circulate around the gallery. I feel that Emmy's piece Fluid initiated that flow through the gallery space. You know, that's right, Frank. In its meandering form, Emmy's installation gives the impression of something that's passing through our space while suggesting a flow of time. The curling ends of the piece reveal a darker treatment, alluding to change and transition. So curiosity sets us in motion. From there, it's likely that this idea of flow was planted into people's consciousness, so that by the time they got to your work, they're thinking about it, subconsciously at least. I get the sense that your work is about a journey. There's a swirl of movement around the composition. That's right. Uh, a flow in terms of a trek, or perhaps even a tour, one can say. My drawings are about transformative experiences and tumultuous environments in a state of, of a transition. The figures and organic forms interact together in a swirl of movement, twisting about with abrupt scribbles and unusual textures. These elements now are metaphors for a dualistic system, resilient and ephemeral, occurring through changes and passages in time. The plant life in my charcoal drawings is, is also a harbinger of time passing because of the power of its life force, making its appearance through cracks in the urban landscape, amongst the temporary patterns of asphalt and bricks and stonework that we've created. Patterns are parts of larger phenomena. You could extend a pattern ad infinitum. Mm -hmm. And so by showing a section of a pattern, you're actually implying that there's a lot more out there that extends beyond the boundaries that were that you artificially place on that mm -hmm. pattern. Mm -hmm. And looking at Francesca's work, I see her exploring pattern in a related way because you get the sense that what she's showing the viewer is only part of a much bigger picture. Absolutely. The picture yeah. might extend infinitely for yeah. all we know. And so in the same way that a moment of experience can be fleeting and there may have been a past underneath that moment that has now become partially or entirely obscured and there's a future that is not clear to us yet. And so that moment is but a small piece of a much larger experience. There's something really interesting about Francesca's pieces because they explore transience spatially and it, it implies the temporal uh, idea of transience, Aspect, but it's yeah. a spatial transience. The QR code in the exhibition gives people access to Alexander's soundtrack. After they leave the exhibition, they can still listen to the music while looking through the exhibition catalog. I like the idea of creating a circular QR code as opposed to the square format, because essentially the circular element, well, for me anyway, represents elements and motion, elements that are somewhat fluid and dealing with movement. So this was just a, a really smart way of making it connect much more cleanly and directly to the exhibition. 
From there, each of Lorraine's pieces offers a glimpse of natural forms and patterns. I see it in a very poetic way in all of her, her pieces where there's a sense of dualistic nature of something about to end and something else about to begin uh, in a very gentle, unobtrusive way. And I really find that to be a real beautiful sensation of the patterns of nature and flowing in and out, reciprocating back and forth, you know, as a, as a gift, if you will, offering us as we take and then return by actually appreciating it and being thankful for. The poetic musings of Lorraine's work connect beautifully with Veronique's lyrical imaginings. Veronique's drawings evoke dreamlike states. Imaginative hybrid associations are formed, poetic narratives, inward visions, so delicate and ephemeral. These visions transcend lived experiences and overlay each other. They reshape our relationship with time. When I see those experiences interiorized inside a human form, I feel this idea of flow making its way into me. And going back to Emmy's River of Ink on Paper, it's, it's as if the poetry of this exhibition flows back on itself. And I'm ready to see it and listen to it again, in a new state of mind. 